Let's talk about project management. You will, of course, at some point want to delete a project. You may want to duplicate a project so that you can take it into a different direction, have multiple versions of it, whatever you may like. And you may find that there are times where you want to consolidate or even consolidate and optimize a project. So let's go through how to do those. If you're currently editing a project, tap on the Projects button in the lower left corner to take you back to the Projects view. To the right of the Project button are all of your project management controls, including the new project that we started with and Delete on the very end. Let's go ahead and select the project at the very top that I just created and delete that one. Tap the Delete and then it simply asks yes or no. That's all there is to it. Now let's duplicate a project. Let's say that I've been working on this project here and I'm thinking about taking it in a different direction. Maybe I wanna try some new editing techniques or I just wanna try a different direction for the story that I'm telling. Whatever it may be, I may wanna have an easy way to fall back to a previous version. So to do that, simply select your project and then tap the duplicate button. There's no interface to it. It simply duplicates it and puts a number one at the end of your project. Next, let's talk about optimization and consolidation. When you're editing a project in LumaFusion, you may be pulling in content from a bunch of different sources, from your photos library, from your music media, even from external devices if you're using some wireless devices or, for example, the newest iPad with USB 3 on the latest iOS operating system, you may have content scattered all over the place. And if performance is ever not quite what you expect, consolidating or consolidating and optimizing could help with that. Consolidating brings all the content into a single location inside of your iPad. And the optimization option will actually re-encode or optimize your footage to ensure that it plays back smoothly on your device. What it will encode to will depend on what your hardware is and also what type of content you've fed it, what is in your project. If you're working with super high resolution video that may not be playing back smoothly, then LumaFusion will optimize that to ensure that it does. To do this, simply select a problematic project. Let's just say that this NAB highlights one here is giving me trouble and then tap on the optimize button here. You'll see that it has two options, optimize and consolidate or simply consolidate. I've already done this. So if I scroll down here, you'll see that I have the optimized version of this project. And when I open that up, I know that this will play back perfectly smoothly. Now the media for here is, as I said, all in one location and you can access that location by using the files app in iOS. To do that, simply open the files app, tap on on my iPad, LumaFusion, User Media, and from here you'll find the project that you just optimized. And there it is, NAB Highlights Optimized. And there's all the optimized footage. And that's all there is to it. At this point, your project will play back smoothly so you can continue editing.